Continues picking up high frequency. Damn! Oh no, the lamppost! Ah, uh, Doc, I think we're gonna die. Yep, we're gonna die. Hello, everyone. This is Charlotte. I found this game on Itch.io today. Called Lamppost. Which is trending right now, so I want to check it out. I don't really know a lot about this game. Recent SCP activity was discovered by locals in the middle of Thornwood Forest. Authorities contacted the SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath. A random lab post is currently under supervision of Team Alpha. They are heading towards a location in order to conduct a research and give further answers to this unknown anomaly. Based on the rumors, the lab post uses energy around itself, consuming anything that comes in contact with it. That's a problem. Our intel suggests that this is a Keter class SCP, which means that it's difficult to contain. We should be very careful while observing this object. Are we gonna die? SCP doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility but is somehow capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. So it's a weeping angel? You can clearly see that we are surrounded by forests, yet the objects in this area appeared from unknown locations. We must contain those objects. Can I just quit already? Here, this is an analog multimeter. It's used to measure electrical quantities like frequencies, signals, etc. Use it to find those objects affected by lampposts and collect them. Why can't you do it? I will be checking for other anomalies as well. Dr. Cooper will observe us, just in case if anything happens. And Dr. Thorne will provide us with medical help if we need any. Great, I actually am gonna die, aren't I? Collect at least five samples, report to Dr. Cooper, and afterwards we can discuss the discoveries together. Stay vigilant, avoid interactions with the lamppost, and good luck. I'm gonna need good luck. Pretty basic controls. Hey, Doc. I have questions. I guess I'm not gonna get answers though, huh? Mushrooms? What's this? Is this important over here? Probably not. The meter's not going off. Nope. Not important. Also not important. I'm gonna get my cardio moving around like that. Is that blood? Was somebody trying to bury a body here? Was somebody drinking out here? There's more blood. That's not good. Flashlight. And the meter's going off. 
coffee. The coffee's weird. Hey, Doc, I found two augers. Can I go home now? I guess not. Meh, I see something over there. Maybe this is important. It's a bottle of whiskey. SCP whiskey. Maybe the trash is an SCP. Or this floppy disk is in the grass. Yep, it's an SCP. The trash is not an SCP. Is the VHS tape of... It is an SCP. Here you go, Doc. Impressive work. We need to pack these things and get them back to the lab to ensure their safety. Not to mention, this area is very dangerous for us as well. Can we leave quickly then? Although, do you not wonder where are those objects coming from? The entire road is closed. We barely got in with the van, you saw that too, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, Doc? No one is allowed in this area. Yet there are so many objects in here. Could it be that the SCP moves those objects from somewhere? Maybe even from another dimension. Doc, there's something behind you. Your analog multimeter is picking up high frequency. Damn! Oh no, the lamppost! Ah, uh, Doc, I think we're gonna die. Yep, we're gonna die. This is bad. Where are we now? I think I'm gonna die. I don't like this hallway. What's this say? Date unknown. We discover something out of this world. It is a regular lamppost emitting a dim light. Anyone who tried to get close to it vanished in front of our eyes. My theory is that this vortex of photons creates a dimensional bridge between our reality and something else. A dark place where time is non-existent. The lamppost becomes active when there is a surge of electricity around. After that, it starts emitting strong light and if anyone touches it, the lamppost and the object or a person disappear. Oh great, that's us. How long you been down here? Probably a while, huh? Uh-oh. Look buddy, I don't want any trouble, okay? I'm just trying to get out of here. Don't you jump scare me. Ah. Uh, old computer. I need to get out of here. This is not good. This is a maze like the back rooms. Biggie machine, how'd that get down here? William Shakespeare. Ah, uh, another note. Sometimes the lamppost can make a choice. It can track the person forever in time or return them back. Well, that's not good. No one knows what happened to those who returned. But one thing is clear that those people are not the same anymore. Only the abandoned souls can hear the shadow figure. It whispers your name, it supplicates your flesh, and feeds you with hope when it's done. 
There's nothing left of you. I hope I don't wind up like those other guys. Leather lamppost? Will this be our way out? To anyone observing this, it will look like a person. A dark figure, and in the blink of the eye, it will vanish. But appear once more. We call it the Fa Photon Shadow. Which was created by this lamppost. It is always around the corner. It makes you think of a place, a place where you feel safe, and it will trap you there forever. Without realizing that your flesh does no longer belong to you. Well, that sounds terrifying. Huh? You can turn this on? Oh, it's working. It is making him mad, I think. Ah, uh, did you just get back from a Lent Biscuit concert? I'm gonna leave you alone. one. Yeah, I'm not afraid of you. Alright, let's go. Beam me up, Scotty. We're free. Let's get out of here. Uh... I don't think we're leaving.